It's been called Australia's Loch Ness Monster and compared to the legend of Bigfoot, the Nullarbor Nymph is a mythical woman said to live among kangaroos in South Australia's far west. And while her story began 40 years ago as a hoax, it continues to live on at the Fringe Festival, as Mike Sexton reports. Like most colourful outback stories, this one begins in a pub. It was just before Christmas 1971 when a group of locals decided to stir up some visitors at a watering hole at Eucla, 11 k's from the South Australian Western Australian border. So they started talking loudly about having seen a, a, a scantily clad, uh, tall, white, blonde woman uh, mingling amidst a, a bunch of kangaroos. What they didn't know was that among the tourists was a journalist who sensed a scoop and wanted more detail. They basically then uh, got to Janice Brooker to dress up as the Nullarbor Nymph and they took some photographs of her with kangaroos and um, the rest is sort of history, I guess. They sold it to the press and the press ate it up. <laughs> what started as a gag created a media storm with organisations from tabloids to Time magazine covering it. Canadian Gary Helm tells the story on an internet site of helping facilitate requests from around the world. For example, the BBC, they, uh, they flew a three-man crew up from London uh, to, uh, and their, their assignment was to uh, get capture the Nullarbor Nymph on film. I picked them up in Adelaide, took them out there. Uh, they spent a week uh, running around the bush uh, looking for, uh, for something to shoot. After enjoying the attention for a while, the hoaxes admitted it was all made up. But 40 years after her boozy creation, the Nullarbor Nymph continues to roam in the imagination of others. The late South Australian jazz musician Dave Dolwitz recorded a ragtime tribute to what he called the Euclid Nymph in 1985. Dora Dolwitz's sculpture of the running nymph sits outside the Flinders Medical Centre. While the fleet-footed legend appeared earlier this year at the Australasian Classic Yearling Sales. Lot 159, Nullarbor Nymph, a black filly by McArdle out of Holmes Hanover Mere Spirit of Spring. Most cultures have myths and legends based on like religion and spirituality and things. But the fascinating part about the Nullarbor Nymph was it's man-made. It was created by man, it was a hoax. And that hoax turned into a wonderful legend and myth that continues to inspire everybody even today. Shakti is a Japanese performer who's created an Adelaide Festival Fringe show based on the nymph. To research the project, Shakti and her husband went to the Nullarbor Plain where she fell in love with the desert country. We've camped there in the middle of nowhere, nowhere in the old Nullarbor roads, in the middle of the road, found wombat warrens, found eagles, found the rocks and the water, the sea, the holes and everything. And in that, you could really feel the nymph is alive. This is a major discovery. This is the Nullarbor nymph. By coincidence, at the same time Shakti's season begins at the Fringe, a feature film about the Nullarbor Nymph will premiere in Sejuna. <laughs> I saw the Nullarbor Nymph as the Australian version of Medusa. Um, I kind of felt that there had to be a backstory to the Nullarbor Nymph. There had to be a reason why she was out there. And, and I had actually got out of a really bad relationship myself, so I wrote the story as kind of um, an interpretation of... Um, men being terrorised by, by women, basically. Matthew Wilkinson spent a year in Sejuna working as a cleaner to raise the money to fund his film. With a microscopic budget, he admits it isn't been her, but believes it fits into a grand tradition of Australian filmmaking. I got inspired by a lot of the early uh, 1970s, 80s Australian genre films, uh, your Barry McKenzie's and your Mad Max's. And those low-budget films really inspired what you're going to see on screen. And I thought that was a really good way to go about it and sort of pay homage to the 1970s and, uh, and get away with it with, with not having a budget too. To further keep his costs down, Matthew Wilkinson shot the film himself and called on the Far West community to fill some acting gaps. There is no naked woman running around in the outback. I started making the film and the locals started to sort of, you know, poke their heads up and eventually a couple of locals stepped forward and said, could we have a role in the film? And I said, yes, absolutely. 
And the moment the locals sort of got involved, everyone wanted to be in the film all of a sudden. And then I had to start stopping people and going, oh, I don't have any more roles left. The film is one person's attempt to answer the questions that have arisen for four decades, ever since the Nullarbor oh, nymph was set free from a pub in Eucla. The Nullarbor nymph was a legend or an icon or a myth or a hoax that started, but she will continue to run with us as we keep continuing to run our lives.